three clever men saw the very same star, the star that God had put in the sky when Jesus was born. They knew it was a sign. A baby king had been born. They had been waiting for this star. They knew it, it would come. He's here, they shouted. He's here. And I'm sure if you'd been there, you would have heard them laughing and dancing and singing until the sun came up. At dawn, they packed up their camels and wrapped gifts for the baby. They brought their most precious tre treasures of all, frankincense, gold, and myrrh. Special, sparkly, lovely smelling, gleaming things, just right for the king. Three, the three wise men, it, actually, if you wet them, you'd have thought they were really were, they were working because they were so rich and, and clever and important, which set off. They rolled their camels across endless deserts of steep mountains, down into deep, deep valleys, through raging rivers, over grassy plains, night and day, day and night, for hours that turned into days, that turned into weeks, that turned into months, and months until at last they reached Jerusalem. Jerusalem was by far the most important city for miles around. And as anyone can tell you that where a place, palace. a palace they went, but they were in for, uh, for, in for a surprise, they went to see King Herod. Herod, surely he'd known where the baby was, but he didn't, in fact. He didn't like, like the sound of a new king. It made him cross. He didn't want anyone to be king except him. But Herod's advisors told the three wise men what was written in their books. What God had said about the baby came to go to Bethlehem. That's where you'll find him. Moving again. Suddenly, the star they had suddenly the star they had seen it in the east started moving again, showing them the way. So the three wise men followed the star out of the big city. Along the road into a little town of Bethlehem, they followed the star through the streets of Bethlehem out to out of a nice part of town through the not so nice part of town into the into the really not nice at all part of town down a little dirt track until it stopped right over a little house. But wait, it wasn't a palace. There weren't any guards or servants, or flags, or red carpets, or trumpets, or anything. Did they get it wrong? Or was this what God meant? 